One of the big advantages of, of CAD is that it's often faster and more accurate than hand drawing. One of the reasons for this is a feature of CAD known as snapping. The snap options are shown down here at the bottom and they're all turned off at the moment. So to start with, I'm just going to draw um, a random, some random lines on the screen so that we've got something to work from and I can demonstrate some, some of these snapping tools. Okay, and then we can close that. All right, I'm also going to put in a couple of circles uh, to show you a couple of things later. All right, so now I want to use the two-point line tool and I want to connect this corner to this corner. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to aim quite carefully at this corner and click and then aim at this corner and click and escape out of that. Now, it looks like a pretty reasonable line, but if we zoom in, and you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out, you can see that that didn't actually connect correctly 100% with the corner that we were aiming at. Okay, And this is a problem that you sometimes have in hand drawing as well if you're not very careful with your drawings. So we can do better than this. So let me zoom out again and let's do this again. But this time I'm going to turn on one of the snapping tools. This one's called Snap on Endpoints. And again, I'm going to use the two-point tool, and I'm going to draw a line from this corner across to that corner, let's say. But as you can see, as I move my cursor around, there's the yellow uh, crosshairs that are jumping from one point to another. Okay, And they don't, they never rest just sort of randomly in the middle of a screen. They're always on one or other of the corners or certain points on the circles. And this is what we mean by snap. The, the crosshairs are snapping to or jumping to the end points of other entities. So now if I want to draw a line from this corner and I click here across to this corner, notice that I don't even need to get my cursor very close to that corner. As soon as it snaps to that corner, I, I know that it's going to the right place and it doesn't really matter where my cursor is. My cursor can be you know lots of different places. But as soon as it snaps, I can click and escape out of there and that line is now drawn from that corner to this corner and if we zoom in on this corner you can see that it's a much more accurate join in fact it doesn't matter how far in I zoom I can zoom all the way in and you can see that those three lines join together with a hundred percent accuracy so the the two big advantages of um, the snapping tools is the firstly we get a hundred percent accuracy and secondly we can go faster because you don't have to aim carefully at the point that you want to click on or to select if you just get your mouse cursor reasonably within the area then it will snap to it will jump to that point okay so let's then talk about the different um, snap tools that we have down here I'm going to come back to this EX a bit later the next one here is the free snap and this one is, is a toggle that you can well, they're all toggles that you can turn on or off so the free snap allows me to let's just draw a line now you notice how the the the, 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 the um, crosshairs follow my cursor around they're not just jumping from one point to another so I can draw a line from anywhere that I like but I still have endpoint selected so if I get close enough to an endpoint, if you look carefully, you can still see it snap. You see that snap there? It jumps to that. So I can still snap to an endpoint, but I do have to get a lot more close and be a little bit more careful to get it. But it does allow me the freedom. So if I want to, I can draw a line, snap from that point, and then, but I can end it kind of anywhere that I want. So that is then the free snap. I generally leave that switched off. Okay. All right, the next snapping tool, I'm going to turn off this endpoints. The next snap tool is this one, and it's called Snap on Grid. And as you can see on the screen, there are a grid pattern of little dots. And now I my drawing will snap to um Sorry, I need to turn that on. That helps. Okay, you can see that I'm now snapping to these individual grid points. Okay, so I can draw a line from 
one grid point to another grid point, and so on. This is particularly useful when you want to um, start your drawing when you haven't got an existing drawing to snap to yet, or when you want to line up um, different components of a drawing, for example, the front view and the side view of an orthographic drawing. Okay, so then the, the, the next option is the one that we've seen already, this snap to end points. And this one will snap to the end point of a line, um, but it also snaps to the 0, 90, 180, and 270 degree points on a circle. So I can draw a line from that, let's make it from the bottom of the circle to the top of that circle. Okay, And as you can see, it snaps to those points on the circle. For some reason, those are considered end points of a circle. All right, the next one then is this one. Let's turn that off and turn this one on. This is called Snap on Entity. And this will jump to anywhere on an entity, but it doesn't define, it doesn't con uh, limit where on the entity. So if you can see, I'm drawing from, let's say, let's, the end point of this one to the circle. But as you can see, that it, it is the, the, the crosshairs are staying on the circle, but they can be anywhere around on that circle. So I can draw a line to wherever I feel like on that circle. So there, there's a good example. That is the snap on entity. The next one then is this one and it's called snap on center, snap center. This one snaps to the center of a circle. Can you see? And because I've only got two circles in this drawing, that's the only two places that this will snap to. So I can draw a line from the center of that circle to the center of that circle, and that's pretty much it. If I had ellipses in the drawing, it would also snap to the center of an ellipse or to the focus points of, of an ellipse. All right, the next one then is this one, which is snap middle, which sounds pretty similar to snap center, but it's a little bit different in that it snaps to the midpoint of a line. So if you can see here, there's a line, and I can snap to the midpoint of that line, or to the midpoint of this line, or that one, or this one. So as you can see, it is snapping to the midpoint of a line. So let me draw a line from the midpoint of that one to the midpoint of this one. Now, this can be quite useful <clears throat> if you need to bisect a line or draw to the middle of another line. But this one also has a trick up its sleeve. And you see over here, it says middle points, one. If I push that up to two, then I'm not snapping to the middle of the line. I'm snapping to a point that is one third from the end or two thirds, or one third from the other end. Okay, So I can snap to um, points that are then a third away from the ends of the line. Or if I push this up to three, I can now snap to points that are a, a quarter or a half or three quarters from the end. Okay. So this snap to middle isn't just to the middle. If you change this middle, this number of middle points over here, you can snap to, as I say, a third or a quarter or a fifth or anything else that you might want to that is that is useful to you in a drawing. So I'm going to put that one there and across to there, just for an example. All right, and escape out of that. All right, the next one then is this, which is called snap distance. So if I select that one, I now have a distance value that I can enter at the top here. So I've got it currently set to 20 millimeters. And if you look carefully, um, it's not snapping to the end point of the line. It's snapping to a point on the line that is 20 millimeters away from the end point or on this line or on this line. So it is snapping to a specified distance from the end point of that line. Okay. Again, that can be useful if you need to draw a line and you know that it must start on another line and you know the distance that it must start away from the end of the line. You can use this tool. All right, and then the last one that I want to talk about here is this one. It's called snap intersection. 
And this is a very useful tool. I use it a lot of the time. In fact, it's probably the one I use the most. This one will then snap to the intersection of any two entities. Okay. It can be just where the two entities come together, like this corner, or it can be the, the way the two entities cross over each other. And it doesn't have to only be straight lines. It can snap to where a line crosses a circle, for example. Okay. So it will snap to the intersection where two entities cross over each other. So I can draw a line from this intersection across to uh, maybe that intersection over here. Okay, and then the last thing I want to just talk about is I, um, I said I would come back to this EX button. This is exclusive snap mode. If you turn this on, then you can only have one snap mode selected at a time. So let's say I turn on end, snap on endpoints, and then I change my mind and I say snap on um, center. Notice how snap on endpoints turns off. As I turn any one of these on, the other one turns off. That's exclusive snap mode. If I turn this off, I can have as many snap modes as I like turned on. Okay, And sometimes it's useful to have, I mean, for example, I very often have um, both a snap intersection and maybe snap middle turned on at the same time, depending on what I'm drawing. The one thing to be careful about here is if you're working with an existing drawing and you want to snap to points on the drawing, make sure that you don't have snap grid turned on because otherwise it might snap to a grid point that is close to the point on the drawing that you actually wanted to snap to and then you end up with a line ending in, in slightly the wrong place and then your drawing is inaccurate. All right then, that's all we needed to talk about on the snap modes in LibreCAD. Thank you for watching.